Are you an optioneer for your clients and your prospect? Well, you know, you are if you make clients be their own advisor. And you do that by making them choose from among potential recommendation options. Hey, and that's really the classic advisor approach over the years, isn't it? You can offer them kind of an A option, a B option, and a C option. That's kind of the deal, I guess. And then you put the what the one you want to sell, the option that you want to sell down the middle, and that B column is what we do. That's kind of what we do. That's a classic approach. But think about it this way. If you make me choose my own advice, then I don't really need you, do I? Now look, yes, you do need alternate options for a particular client. Of course, every client needs those alternates. I mean, that's what a lawyer would do, a doctor would do, uh, an accountant probably. They would all do that. Your doctor would say, well, I recommend you do this, but if you don't like this, well, then you can do this. And if not that, then something else. So if you decline their first option, their first, and I'm, I'm imagining their best option, well, then they would have a plan B and maybe even a plan C to offer you. But getting me to choose my options is not really the most professional way of doing that. It's not really the iconic approach, is it? Now, we all call ourselves advisors. I say, let's go way out on a limb and advise people. Let's advise them. Now, that means giving our best advice, our best recommendations. Now, this, of course, means that you have to know a great deal and maybe even a great deal more about your client, about the marketplace, about the products you're offering, the optional products that might be considered for them, their needs, their objectives, their goals, their family, their business. And you have to know them quite deeply in order to make that particular recommendation that you're making. Say, this is my best advice. Now, some might say, well, no, I want them to choose so that I don't take all that liability on. Here's the point. You have all that liability, whether you want it or not. So you might as well make it your best advice. If you're going to fail, you might as well fail for the best possible reasons, giving your best possible advice. Remember, all of this is your job. If you want to be more compliant, all of this lines up perfectly well. This whole idea of not being an optioneer lines up perfectly well so that you can be more compliant and really in line with fiduciary type responsibilities and standards of care all around the world. Hey, if you like this idea, there's a, I have an ideal portfolio concept that fits really very well into this that you could use to create your best recommendations, your best advice. And if you'd like, I will send you a copy, a sample of my template. Uh, just email me, jr at jimruta.com. I'll be happy to send you a copy. So stop optioneering with clients and prospects, and you'll increase your value and those referrals coming back your way. And you know what else? You'll be reinventing yourself on your way to Icon. It always works that way. Hey, if you like this video, uh, please share it with others so they can get some benefit. Like the page on Facebook and check out rudasrules.com, rudasrules.com for more video like this. There's a whole factory over there, a whole pile of stuff that you can see as well. If I can help you as a coach or as a speaker to one of your events, please be sure to check out jimruda.com. Always fun talking to you and I'll see you again next week.